this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to talk to you about how to connect Bluetooth devices to the ROG Alloy and why you should. This is really worth doing because what you might find is if you're trying to log into various different services, I am here with the Epic Games two-factor authentication. You can see I'm struggling to get the keyboard in the right place. This is a very frustrating user experience because although you can resize and reposition the keyboard and even choose the different layouts, it quite often just gets in the way of the fields. Another example here from Ubisoft Connect where you can see I've entered my email address, but then it's now blocking the password field. No matter where you put it, it's just awkward and clumsy and really frustrating. This is one of the downsides of Windows with a touch screen on a small compact device where you're trying to use it for logging into things. But if you want to add a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, which I'd highly recommend doing, hit the Windows Start button, search for Bluetooth settings, and go to Bluetooth and Devices, and then you can see there's an option here to add device to the ROG Ally. So just click that, and then click on your Bluetooth settings to add a keyboard and mouse, and then it's just going to go through the search process there. Obviously, you need to make sure your Bluetooth devices are in pairing mode. So if we're on the Corsair K70 Pro Mini Wireless, for example, a couple of different key presses, the function key will then put into pairing mode and then the ally will then give you a little pop up to let you know it's found it. You'll have to enter a pin in order to connect the two and pair them up. But once you've done that, you'll then find that the keyboard is then fully connected to the ally. Now this obviously make it easy to log into various different things, but also just to interact with stuff. So if you want to play FPS games, for example, obviously you could do this and it'll work better with games that are designed more for keyboard and mouse or I'll let you play from a distance if you're tethered. Another quick tip that you might not realize is these paddles at the back are actually multi-function. So these macro paddles can be used in combination with the D-pad to do various things. You'll see, for example, if you press them and then D-pad down, you can open Task Manager. Combination with that and D-pad left shows the desktop. D-pad up and that macro pad button shows the keyboard. And then you can obviously do other things as well. I'll leave all of the shortcuts in the description but this will make your life easier too. Subscribe for more awesome tips. Thanks for watching.